Your book talks a lot about effective tactic, tactics to address complex leadership challenges. Can you share some of those tactics with our audience? Yeah, I think so oftentimes we we have these meetings and like 15 minutes in the agenda is this really complex issue and and uh, within healthcare it's it's uh, staffing like how we're going to staff and how many hours we're going to give individuals to staff how much we're paying each other how we're changing our processes how we're merging cultures organizations how we're developing all these new things and it's just 15 minutes of a meeting and it does not tend to be a great way of of kind of considering these really thorny challenges. And so what tends to happen in those situations is you have a leader who speaks up, maybe another loud individual or powerful individual in the room, and then they move forward. And, and what that does is it leaves everyone else in the, in the meeting wondering like, well, what was I even here for? Yeah, yeah how, how about me? Do you think about what I, th and we know that those sorts of decisions are less effective when, it, when a leader decides by themselves. It's much better when we're able to bring in the perspectives of others. And so I think as we're, we're facing these thorny challenges, I, I like this, this kind of framework called row forward. And so what you do is first the R in row is you develop a shared reality. And, and so I wanna know what you think and I wanna know what everyone around the room thinks. We have disagreements, we have different perspectives, but all of those come together to give this more kind of real view of the challenge that we're facing. And so now we have shared reality. And so then, and only then do you start to move forward to what are the options, the O and row forward of the things that we might do. And then only after we come up with and brainstorm a bunch of options, do we actually decide the way for the W and, and, and row forward, which is this is what we're going to do and this is what we're going to focus on. So we need to stop jumping to way forward. We need to start creating more shared reality. And, and within that sort of shared reality, we're gonna find a better way forward.